Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Greg from The Dapper Man. I'm going to do an unboxing today of uh, some Samuel Hubbard Tipping Point uh, dress shoes. I have both the black and the tan, and I bought some shoe trees and shoe bags for them for when I travel. Um, as you may know, a couple months ago I bought some Allen Edmond uh, Capto Oxford dress shoes. Unfortunately, where I, where I will be traveling for work for the next uh, foreseeable future, it is um, because it's also winter. It is very wet with lots of ice and snow, and I don't want to uh, destroy the uh, leather soles on those Allen Edmonds, so I bought some uh, Samuel Hubbard um, shoes to go ahead and wear in, during the winter because, one, they're resolable just like the Allen Edmonds, and they actually have a rubber sole, so you actually get traction and you won't destroy the leather. So, let me go ahead and grab uh, the first pair. And I will show you uh, what they look like. So, Samuel Hubbard, hopefully you can see that, uh, created in 1930. They are based out of at Mill Valley, California. For some reason, I thought they're out of uh, uh, New England. These are what they call the uh, tipping point. There we go. You get a good picture of that. These are, it's really a nice little box here. Um, good construction, blue. When you open it up, let's see if I can get this turned around and actually uh, get a picture of it for the camera. It has a bit of a story in there for you to go ahead and read about the company. Let me see if I can go ahead and read it here real quick. In the 1930s, Samuel J. Katz, my grandfather, began Hubbard Shoe Company in a small, in a, a small children's shoe factory in Rochester, New Hampshire. Okay, that's why I thought they were New England. He spent his life working with uh, shoes, as did my father, Saul Katz, K-A-T-Z, who entered the family business in 1943. Over the years, Hubbard grew to 900 employees in two factories, making shoes that quickly became known for its comfort and durability. As a family-owned business, we made footwear with a great deal of pride and attention to the smallest detail. In 1973, Hubbard Shoes closed its doors. Uh, also, as did many New England shoe factories, when shoemaking moved offshore for, uh, to the cheaper labor markets. That year, I joined my father as we started a new shoe business, sourcing our shoes in several small factories in Brazil. While there, we worked uh, with local craftsmen and shared our expertise in making high-quality shoes. We imported the best materials and machinery and continued the family tradition of setting the highest standards in comfort and craftsmanship. Thus born the new Katz family shoe business. Uh, that was then called the Rockport Company. When we were able to craft, or were they able to craft their own uh, shoe brands and combine, that combined comfort, style, and performance. Later on, it says, uh, in 2014, we launched the Samuel Hubbard Shoe Company, once again a family business, building on, traditional, on traditions that go back nearly 85 years. We offer shoes at the very high, of the very, high, very highest quality, using the finest leather from around the world. Fit and comfort are paramount uh, in our design. We have returned to Europe to work with some of the finest shoemakers in the world. As a third and fourth generation of shoemaking family, uh, uh, sorry, as a third and fourth generation of shoemaking family, we follow in the tradition of producing shoes that people love. At Samuel Hubbard, we, uh, we make no compromises in the comfort and craftsmanship. When there is a better way to do it, we do it that way. When there's a better leather or material, we use it. In uh, presenting each new innovative design, we honor our past and what we have learned over our past 85 years. Over the years, my father. Uh, has often said that we make friends with our shoes. We hope you agree and will enjoy uh, many great walks in your new uh, Hubbards. Uh, I think that's fascinating the little history. Um, yeah, you know, I, the reason I love these shoes is uh, they are, like I said, they are recraftable. Right now I've been going on a kick about um, shoes not only being uh, of good quality, so you only have to buy them once, but you know, recraftable. So you you pay more for a better product that's going to last you longer, so you actually pay less over time. So 
if we look at the actual packaging, nice little Samuel Hubbard uh, tissue paper. The shoes are individually wrapped uh, in a plastic bag. And of course, there's the other one. So let me go ahead and take the first one out of the bag. I'll go ahead and uh, show it to you, and then we'll move on to the other pair. So, here we go. As you can see, this is not really an Oxford, it's more of a, it's actually a brogue. Um, a little bit of a wingtip design, hopefully we can actually kind of see that. There we go. Get a little bit of a reflection there. This does use, uh, I believe it is an Oxford welt. Um, let me get the stuffing out of there. Toss that over to the side for now. Uh, as you can see, it is, like I said, a rubber sole. It is what they call a Vibram sole. And it is uh, a leather interior. And they actually have removable Samuel Hubbard uh, insoles uh, with triple density or triple memory foam for comfort. Um, I love, uh, I have a pair of their uh, Chelsea boots. Uh, I think they call them 24 by 7. I love them. Uh, they're fantastic. They're extremely comfortable. That's why I went ahead and purchased uh, purchased these. And like I said, um, I needed something with the rubber sole. That way I don't destroy them uh, walking through the rain and uh, crappy streets uh, of New England while I'm working there. So there's that. I actually bought two pair. I bought the black. And let me open the other one here real quick. And I bought the uh, tan or brown. The reason I did that, is I'm take it out of the bag again, so uh, we can see them. It'll be easier to see a lot of the broking and the detail on the brown. So here we go, as you can see. Nice little wingtip design. Uh, same thing has the rubber sole. Uh, you can, like I said, uh, you can get these resold. It's called a Vibram sole. It's really, really nice leather. Um, like I said, the reason I bought two pair is one because it's winter and uh, I don't want to destroy my brand new Allen Edmonds. But I got the uh, got the brown. These are more casual because of the broking and the wingtip design. They're more of a casual shoe, so um, you can use these with a uh, a suit if you don't want to go full dress up. Uh, you can also wear these with jeans and it'll, it'll look fine. So, there we go. We have the Allen Edmonds uh, Tipping Point in brown and black. And to protect these, when I'm not actually wearing them, they will actually go back in the box, uh, their boxes. But I also bought something else here real quick. One second. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, I bought, I went to, I went on Amazon, I bought some foot fitters, um, these are, uh, yeah, let me just open it up so I can, I'll show you, this is a shoe bag, here we go, it's a nice uh, quality, nice soft uh, uh, shoe bag, and shoe trees. There we go. I bought these so that when I'm not wearing them, I can put the uh, put them in the shoes, and they will help take care of the shoes. Uh, you may ask, why do you need shoe trees? Um, for a couple different reasons. One, if you don't wear shoes for a while, they kind of start shrinking, uh, and that you know, you know, just start contracting. So you put this in there to help keep the shape. Also, this helps uh, absorb any um, moisture in the shoe as you take them off, because moisture is the death of leather. So you put this in the shoe when you're not wearing it. Excuse me. And it uh, just helps protect the shoe, keeps it from shrinking, helps absorb all the moisture, and uh, you're good to go there. Now, when you're traveling, you uh, or when you're storing them, you want to put them in a bag 
I usually actually recommend uh, what Alan Edmond does. It's one shoe per bag. Uh, this looks like it's just one bag for both shoes. I'll probably, um, actually I will end up buying uh, another set of bags. Uh, that way it's just one per shoe. Put the shoes in there and then put both bags in this bag and then put them in the box for storage. But when I travel, what I do is I'll put them, uh, I will put the shoes in separate bags and then pack them in my suitcase. And that protects them from getting scuffed and just um, mucked up and marred while you're in transit. Uh, two more quick things about these uh, Samuel Hubbard shoes. Uh, the tan actually came with a little placard here. Um, it has two sides. First, it says uh, caring for your Hubbards. And to take care of your Hubbard shoes, you can use one of two methods. If you prefer the shoes to go towards a darker shade, more brown, Simply use a brown paste wax. If you want to preserve the high MO of the tones, we recommend using a neutral wax. <clears throat> Either way, your Hubbards will have a distinctive and rich look that will complement your wardrobe. And on the back, it says Hubbard hand finishes. These Hubbard shoes are finished with a rich hand rubbed patina. Our craftsmen start with a pristine, unfinished piece of leather, adding color and finish after the shoes are made. This gives the leather a distinctive character with color variations found only on the most expensive handmade shoes. Because each piece of leather is unique, shoes will vary slightly in coloration, usually the way the antiquing takes to the surface. And that again only came in the uh, tan and not the black. Black, uh, you just use a uh, cream polish. Uh, on the back of the box, there's all sorts of information about the shoes. The picture of the shoe on the, on the back of the box is actually another uh, shoe that they offer. It's not the tipping point shoe because obviously it's uh, no broking and this is more of a, um, uh, of a, the one on the back is more of a casual shoe. It's still a beautiful looking shoe and I actually will buy a pair of those. On the back it talks about the triple density foam uh, for uh, cushioning your feet. It has a padded collar, which means no hard points when the, uh, where the shoe contacts the feet. Leather lined and softly padded tongue. The rich glove leather lining from heel to toe reduces internal friction. It has a soft grain full leather upper uh, uh, in smooth or new box finishes. And that's, as you can see, that's a new box shoe. Um, Rocker profile and the sole designs less work for your feet. By rolling your foot forward, the rocker reduces the, the foot's need to flex the shoe as much uh, as much. It makes Hubbard's much less tiring to wear. It has a strong stitch down, uh, stitch down construction, providing lateral stability and durability. It has a Kevlar shank uh, that supports the midfoot area and stabilizes your stride. Fiber reinforced heel counter combined with a Cup heel insole provides lateral heel support. And again, the Vibram custom made more flex soles uh, allow Hubbard shoes to be easily resold with brand new original soles uh, whenever needed. Hubbards are 30% lighter in weight than many shoes of this type. Vibram more flex uh, provides terrific shock absorption and will put a, a spring in your stride. So again, all that is on the back of the box. It's the same for both the black and the tan that I got. Um, so, it, like I said, these shoes are fantastic. In fact, let me just reach down. These are a pair of the uh, boots that I got uh, from them originally. I actually haven't worn these too much. Actually, I need to uh, polish them. I'll probably use these in my shoe polishing guide. Uh, but as you can see, they're really nice, comfy. Uh, I like them too. Yeah. They are very nice and comfortable, easy to wear. Uh, they're very light. Um, I even actually have a shoe tree in here, as you can see. Pull that out just a bit to help uh, keep the um, shape of the boot when I'm not wearing it. Uh, these are fantastic boots, and this is actually why I ended up going with uh, their tipping point shoes because I've worn these. I think these are called the 24 by 7s. I've worn these before, they are fantastic easy to wear, very comfortable, and I knew these other shoes would be uh, just as comfortable and easy, easy to wear. Well, that's all for now. I'll actually be doing a beard review video here uh, in just a few moments, but I hope you like this unboxing of my Samuel Hubbard 
tipping point shoes in brown and black. If you have any questions about them, please let me know. You can go to uh, SamuelHubbard.com, uh, uh, yeah, SamuelHubbard.com, and find their shoes. I hope you like them. Uh, uh, check them out. I know I I'm going to love them. I'll go ahead and do a review here in a couple weeks where I review both my Allen Edmonds and my Samuel Hubbards, and I'll and I'll talk some more about uh, the shoes at that point. Well, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at the Dapper Man US, and on our website, which is still under construction uh, while I make some updates, uh, the Dapperman.com. Uh, I apologize, Dapperman.com. So, uh, I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.